Hey guys, hope you're doing well. And today's video is going to be on the Matilda Hedgehog. Now this is quite an interesting and unique little vehicle. Obviously the Matildas themselves weren't exactly uncommon during the Second World War. Uh, they were used a lot by the British Army and the uh, other nations under the British Empire. But this one, where well, they decided to stick a mortar launcher on it. A Hedgehog mortar launcher in particular. Now, this thing might not be too useful to us. It might get us killed quite badly because it is very explosive and apparently, even when there's no ammo in there, Gaijin decides it can ammo wreck you. But we're going to give it a go and try at the very least to get quite a nasty critical hit on something. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get straight into it. Alright, we're here on Normandy. see what we can do here. We should be okay. That bit is concerning me, but I don't think it's anything we can't deal with. It's on our team, so that's, that's good news. And follow the bit up. It can provide mostly as cover for our mortar launcher. Our armor can bounce or just outright absorb a lot of shots, but the hedgehog launcher will not. So we need to be careful. That was unfortunate for him. What a panther. I launched a mortar and we'll see what happens. There's a three F. That really looks like a baby panther. Artillery could be bad for me. Hmm. That was a bad move, I'm afraid. I love this VR. I found my last more. Went super far. Just there we go, get the transition out. That looks like a squeeze boy. So this isn't a bad run. Can I really not pen that? Baby T-34 is really hard to pen. Everything Russian seems to be hard to pen at this point. Weird. I need to literally just 
bail. They can't even pen my side, some of them. I'm running too low on ammo to keep just failing to pen these guys. I should use my HE for that flak panzer, that's exactly what I brought it for. Oh, have you not got a turret? You poor thing. This HE is like seriously weak. I mean, it is only 40mm HE. Seven rounds left, I gotta make them count. That's an ace. Didn't get any mortar kills yet, but we're working on it. That might be a HE target. Yeah, it's going to be a HE target. A little bit too on their spawn, but oh wow, the HE didn't do it. Oh, he hit my mortar. Yeah, all that ammo that I didn't have was the end of me in the end. All right, let me bring out the big bomb just for a laugh. I forgot to mention I got the Wellington with the big bomb. Why not? Just to see what chaos I can cause. Look at that thing. Now, it doesn't look that big, but when you understand how big this Bombay is, and the fact that they had to remove the Bombay, or the Bombay doors anyway. It's going to go right in this form. There's only one guy in there, but I might as well drop it in there just for a laugh. The game's going to be over probably before it gets there anyway. Ah, oh, I've got a two second fuse. Not ideal. Not ideal. Might end up getting shot down. Ah, oh, game's over. So I'm curious, uh, what's your guys' opinions on uh, these conspiracies with War Thunder in terms of the matchmaker and Gaijin's mechanics overall? Because I, I've been hearing a lot of conspiracies about bias towards this or bias towards that, and some of it I really can see, to be honest. Um, but I'm not sure if I quite believe in it. What's your guys' opinions? Please leave a comment down below. The one that always gets me is the, the up tier mechanic. I don't think it, either it doesn't work or it's very selective. I If you have a good game, you always get an up tier the next game, or certain players get on a blacklist and always get up tiers and so on. Because I, I know a lot of people who never get up tiers, like ever, but I myself and blaze a lot of the time or definitely when we play together we get up tiers almost every game and some up tiers are nothing some up tiers don't really matter some up tiers really do some BRs you cannot play if you get up tier
is that? Should I even be facing them? I can't even fire for a fog lamp, which is no idea. Really do anything against the three sevens. Three seven up tier is just nasty. This is a uh, <laughs> precisely what I was talking about about this up tier mechanic. A lot of hedgehogs. We're all up tiered. Why are we all up tiered? We can't fight this up tier. Ah, a man with smoke. How far away is he firing from? Oh, I could pen that. Look at that. Oh, don't you dare. That accuracy is beautiful. If he ammo racks me, I'll be very annoyed. This is 12 somewhere, though. Go to Matilda hit. Oh, ammo rack. This is going to be not fun. This is going to be painful. If I could scout. If only I could scout. Oh, come on. Fuel tank fire, but no damage. That was a bad, bad move. He could have killed me easy if he'd just gone front on. Ah, oh, he suicided. This is 12, that's unfortunate. You just killed an ARL. I can totally fire across this, although I don't need to. Right, I'd say we pulled it back a little bit there. Let me get up on this hill and see how far I can lob these. If I can kill that AA, this will be beautiful. close and now I'm going to miss the last two. Oh, that was the F2 I shot earlier. How weird. We travelled a long way. Oh no. Surely he's not gonna be able to do that with everyone around. He's not gonna be able to push like that and get the flank on me. That is incredibly unfortunate for him. He did a really good play there and it just just didn't work out quite well enough because his round just <sighs> That's that's H E and heat in this game now. That probably should have killed me. I mean I don't have a heavy tank, so if he'd have hit the Stuart, but I could tell he wanted me. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the T-34 guy. Let's double check. It was the T-34 guy, yeah. Fair play, he was angry. I could tell because he ignored all the easy kills to get me. He probably could have got a double kill on the uh, two AAs there, but the AA and the Stuart. Really, really unfortunate that. Really unfortunate. I'm going to back down from here. It's another race. Took a little while, but we got there. That looks like game. So, there you have it guys, the Matilda Hedgehog. Quite a nice little uh, piece of machinery right here. It's a good little vehicle. Honestly, I, I used to hate the Matilda when I first played the British Tech Tree. Um, I think I might go back and replay it, because I must have misjudged it, because this thing is solid. I think Volumetric did it some good, um, and then probably a few of the other updates since. I haven't played it in probably a couple years. So I didn't get to play out the Wellington with the big bomb. Uh, I tried, but I just couldn't get there quick enough. And we didn't get to kill anyone with the mortar, which is a shame. But all in all, it's a fun little vehicle you can pick up from the Battle Pass. It is free and it's quite easy to get to. It's a nifty little thing. Hope you guys have enjoyed and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.